Women, Cervical Cancer Prevention Awareness and Health Matters. Your partner in Health Matters. Dedicated to promoting awareness of both male and female issues. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Edna Dapa and I am still on the issue of abdominal vagina bleeding and why vast majority of women experience this process. Bleeding between menstruation is a common occurrence in women and it is important to be aware of various reasons for this occurrence and to understand when to be concerned and seek professional advice. Join me today for another women healthcare session that will empower you to support your children, grandchildren, nieces, sisters, and friends. Today, I am going to talk about three processes that could cause abnormal bleeding. These are pregnancy bleeding, miscarriage, and molar pregnancy. Bleeding during pregnancy is quite common and may be light or heavy or could be more of discharge than bleeding or spotting. Bleeding from the cervix in pregnancy is usually due to increased blood flow to it. Also, infection or inflammation of the cervix could also cause bleeding. If placenta becomes detached from the wall of the womb before labor, this could cause bleeding. Sometimes, Bleeding during pregnancy indicates an impending miscarriage or a condition such as ectopic pregnancy that needs prompt treatment. Another process that could cause abnormal vaginal bleeding is miscarriage. It is also referred to as the spontaneous abortion of pregnancy or the natural death of an embryo or fetus before it can survive independently. Many miscarriages occur so early in pregnancy that a woman does not realize she is pregnant by the time she is miscarrying. Bleeding in early pregnancy does not always mean that miscarriage has taken place. However, if bleeding increases or becomes heavier than a normal period, a miscarriage may be more likely. Miscarriages can happen for a variety of medical reasons many of which are not within a woman's control. Miscarriage can be described and experienced in various ways depending on the circumstance. A condition could be described as threatened miscarriage if there is bleeding from the vagina yet the pregnancy may continue. Miscarriage could happen early or late pregnancy and will be referred to as early miscarriage and late miscarriage respectively. In a situation with signs that a miscarriage is definite and that the pregnancy cannot continue, it is known as inevitable miscarriage. Miscarriage is incomplete if there is still some tissues left in the womb after the process has taken place. A complete miscarriage is when all the pregnancy tissue has been lost and bleeding has stopped. Miscarriage can be delayed, missed, or silent. When a baby has died but the female is not experiencing any bleeding or pain and may only find out when an ultrasound scan is carried out. Where three or more pregnancies are lost in a row, the condition is described as recurrent miscarriage. The cause of miscarriage is not known, but it is believed that the most early miscarriages happen because the baby is not developing normal from the onset, probably due to genetic abnormalities. The possibilities of having miscarriage increases with age. Half of pregnancies in women aged 40 to 45 ends in miscarriage compared to one in four for women aged 35 to 39. If there is problem with the development of placenta, it could lead to miscarriage. 
Bacterial infection, such as bacterial vaginosis, are often the cause of a late miscarriage. Certain lifestyles has been shown to increase the risk of miscarriage. These include um, smoking or taking illegal drugs. The lining of the uterus could be affected by smoking, because therefore making it difficult for a fertilized egg to implant. During early days of conception, fetal development is rapid and this phase is highly susceptible to genetic damage caused by cigarette smoke. Chromosomal problems are the most common cause of miscarriages. Alcohol consumption can increase the risk of miscarriage, especially during the first trimester. Drinking raises the level of alcohol in the bloodstream, which passes to the uterus via to the to the fetus via the placenta. The body of an adult could process this alcohol while the developing baby lacks the ability to deal with such substance. Being overweight or underweight could increase the risk of miscarriage. Research has shown that overweight and underweight women are at a significantly higher risk of experiencing recurrent miscarriages compared to those of average weight. Some of the symptoms of miscarriages include mild to severe spotting, vaginal bleeding with a possible presence of blood clots, discharge of tissue or fluid from the vagina, pain or cramping. It is also possible to have these symptoms without experiencing a miscarriage. So please consult your doctor to ensure that everything is fine. Another condition that could cause abnormal vaginal bleeding is molar pregnancy. This condition occurs when a fetus does not form properly in the womb and the baby fails to develop. Unfortunately, a molar pregnancy will not survive and must be eliminated. It is a rare complication of pregnancy that can be a traumatic experience and triggers abnormal vaginal bleeding in women. The cause of molar pregnancy is not known and has nothing to do with anything the couple trying to have baby did or did not do. During normal pregnancy, the moment egg and sperm unite, the fertilized egg formed has 46 chromosomes arranged as 23 pairs, each chromosome pair from each parent. This is not the case in molar pregnancy. There are two main types of molar pregnancy and neither type survives. A complete mole or a complete molar pregnancy happens when a sperm cell fertilizes an empty egg that lacks the mother's genetic materials. The fetus will have only 23 chromosomes from the father and none from the mother. As a result, the fetus will not develop or survive. A partial mole or partial molar pregnancy occurs when two sperm cells fertilizes a normal egg with the mother's genetic materials, producing a fetus with one set of chromosomes from the mother and two sets of chromosomes from the father. In this scenario, the fetus has a total of 69 instead of 46 chromosomes, which is abnormal. In a partial mole, there are usually some early signs of a, a fetus, but will not develop into a baby. There are often no symptoms of molar pregnancy. However, some women with the condition may experience vaginal bleeding or dark discharge from the vagina in early pregnancy. Molar pregnancy can be confirmed by blood tests and ultrascan to treat a molar pregnancy. The doctor will remove the molar tissue from the uterus with a procedure called dilation and curatage. Abnormal vaginal bleeding could be due to some physiological processes completely not related to gynecological cancer as discussed in this video. We can see that a lot of health issues creeping up on us have medical solution. Sometimes 
Certain situations we experience could be a natural process of resolving conditions, like in the case of molar pregnancy. We need awareness on health matters to support ourselves and to recognize to seek for help as early as possible. I hope this video is informative and I will recommend you listen to my previous videos as the subjects are associated. Thanks for watching and please like and share this video to your friends and family and I will see you soon.